Hey everyone, I'm really excited today because I'm going to be doing my final bump date uh, video and and it's a little silly because I'm actually not pregnant anymore, but because my little boy came a week early, I still would be 40 weeks pregnant um, if I was still pregnant. So I thought it'd be fun to do one final bump date plus kind of a um, after delivery postpartum update for you guys as well. So here's my little guy and I'm being really mean because he's like totally wanting to sleep. So here's our little beau. He is doing so great. As of today, he's 11 days old. Um, and he's just doing really great. Sorry, I'm gonna try to hold him up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm keeping him awake when he wants to sleep. Oh, kisses. Oh, kisses. <laughs> oh, yawn. Got yawns. Oh. <laughs> he's so sleepy. He's still in that, like, wonderful newborn sleepy phase where he will just like sleep through anything. Even one of my vlogs, so that's nice to know. I could vlog all day long and he wouldn't even care. <laughs> He's so sleepy. Okay, so I know you guys would probably w rather just sit and watch him for the whole video, but I'm really gonna try and let him sleep a little bit longer before he wants to eat again. So I'm very excited that I delivered Bo at 39 weeks. Any one who has gone through pregnancy knows that it just gets crazy the last couple of weeks of your pregnancy and you just want this baby to come. And I was just about at that point and he came. And so it was really, really great. If you guys haven't seen um, the baby, the birth videos, I have a full vlog of the birth story. Um, Cause I was actually vlogging throughout the day that it happened. And I also have just a really sweet short um, birth video that you guys can watch too if you just want a short and sweet version. Uh, so check those out. So normally with my bump date videos, if you guys watch those, I kind of do the same questions and it's a, it'll be a little interesting this time because they'll probably relate more to my body and, and postpartum things rather than actual birth things, but I think it will still be uh, really applicable to you guys who are watching. So um, one thing I always answer is what's like the weirdest thing about this time in my pregnancy and obviously for me right now the weirdest thing is not being pregnant anymore just it's just the biggest transition from having this like unknown person inside of you and then all of a sudden they're here and they have a face and a voice and hair and toes and fingernails and it's just that alone is a crazy transition but then also like my body is going through um like rebooting and just getting back to normal. And so that's been a little bit different this time. Um, I think I pushed a little bit harder this time because I had, in my epidural, they gave me like a big dose because I was so close to, to pushing. Um, so I had to like, I think I pushed harder because I couldn't really feel as much as I did with the other two. So I didn't tear at all and I didn't have to get any stitches. So that was really good, but still, I'm still like, a little tender and just a little bit it just feels different I don't know it just feels different than it did with my last two babies but I feel really great I am walking around fine and it's just the weirdest thing to have like a waist back I can bend over I can like pick up things off the ground um, I can you know put my own shoes on I can do the dishes without having to like lean over because I have this big belly in front of me um, so that's definitely the weirdest thing about this week for me is having most of my body back. Something that's a little in, in the same vein is that I don't, as much as I do love having my body back in the sense that there's not a baby inside and I can breathe and all these different things, at the same time my body is not back because my abs are like split apart and so like my, your stomach just gets like really squishy. It just feels squishy for a long time. Your skin is still, the elasticity is still stretched out and so your skin is trying to do its thing and and your uterus is still contracting down and all these different things and so if you guys watch my other videos you'll see in the hospital I for sure have a big belly still um, thankfully mine has really started to go down a lot this week and so that's been really really good but I tried to put on some pants this morning and they just <laughs> they didn't want to uh, button up so that was sad I didn't really want to try my old pants on yet but I did and it was sad for me for my other two kids my body went back to normal a lot easier so this third baby has been uh, I think I gained a little bit more weight with this one so anyway I want to start exercising and doing all these things to get my body back in shape but I'm still only a week and a half out. So I have to wait and I have to be patient and that's hard. The most exciting thing about this time is just having our little boy and getting to know him. It's so crazy getting to know his personality. I mean, he's still newborn so he doesn't do a lot of things but I know like how he likes to lay when he's tooting and stuff like that. Just some like really silly things that 
um, only moms would care about. So that's been the most exciting thing is just having him around and getting him in our family and the kids love him. I told you the kids love are really excited for this baby and they are still excited about him even being here. They'll um, they'll like just like stroke his hair and like if he's crying they'll like stop whatever they're doing and like go and like it's okay baby, it's okay. It's really really cute and they just watch out for him. Porter always wants him by him on the couch and he he'll like make me move him from wherever his comfy spot is so that he can be by him. Um, it's it's really, really cute. And the kids have been really good. One funny thing um, is that seriously, every single time I sit down to nurse him, Piper has to go to the bathroom like every single time without, without fail. I'm in the middle of nursing and we're all comfortable and he's doing good and all of a sudden I hear like, mom, I need help. And she's two and so both situations need my attention and I I don't know how to handle this yeah I kind of have either just let her sit it out until I can come or whatever but every single time seriously every single time I'm nursing Piper needs my help in the bathroom so having three kids is still a work in progress for me as far as an update on Bo um, himself he is doing really good usually they have you do a two-day like two-day checkup at the pediatrician but they, they were like they didn't really ask care if I did or not this time around. They're like, you know if he needs help because you're an experienced mom. That was kind of weird. So he hasn't had a, an up, a checkup yet with the, with his doctor, but we're going to be doing that this Friday. So I don't know how much he weighs, um, if he's lost weight or anything, but he looks really good. He he his digestive system is working really well with Piper. She had a hard time like tooting and just getting her gas out, and so she was uncomfortable a lot but he seems to be pretty good at it already, and so that is really good. Um, makes for a lot of diaper changes for me, but that's okay. Um, I'd rather have him be comfortable and feel good. So yeah, he is doing really good. He's having a hard time nursing now and then. He really would rather have a bottle, I think. Um, so I pump a lot and I'll feed him that like if I know I just want him to like be done and not have to work on it. But I really am trying to get him to nurse most of the time because it's just a lot easier. Honestly, I think nursing is a lot easier than pumping and doing the bottle or doing formula. It's just like everything's there. All the equipment is just right here for him to um, have his lunch. So anyway, that sounded kind of weird, but he's doing really good. He eats about every four hours, three to four hours. Um, I'll feed him. He doesn't cry that much. He kind of like will have little outbursts in the middle of a nap. He'll just be like, Wah! then he'll go back to sleep. But otherwise he's really good. He's just a great normal baby. I'm just super blessed to have him in my life. Anyway, that is it. I am done being pregnant and I am done making these bump date videos until the next time I get pregnant, hopefully not too soon. <laughs> Thank you so much everyone for following these bump date videos. It's been so fun for me to document my um, pregnancy journey with our third child, Bo. And um, thank you again for all of your comments and support. And it's just been really fun for me as a vlogger to be able to put this out for all of you guys who are interested in pregnancy and maternity life. I'm doing great, Bo is doing great, Zach is awesome, he's an awesome dad, and the kids love the baby as well. So I will most likely be doing, um, maybe I'll do like a monthly update on Bo and kind of how all the, I mean so much happens within the first year of little babies' lives. Um, so there's a lot to update on that. So if you guys would like that, comment below and let me know what you would want to know about my baby and my postpartum journey. So if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel because I have lots of other content that I think a lot of you would be interested in and would like to watch and see. I'm, I'm trying to post two days a week this year, but I'm hoping to do more because I miss it. I miss doing my daily stuff, so I'm hoping to do more than two days a week. Either way, come back and check us out, and we'll see you guys then. Bye!